Our most essential learning competency for today is illustrating a probability distribution for a discrete random variable and its properties. A probability distribution is a distribution of the probabilities associated with the values of a random variable. In this statistics, we have this frequency distribution. We are counting, of course, the number of occurrences there. Here, we also have this probability distribution. We will be counting, of course, the number of occurrences also. A probability distribution of a discrete random is a correspondence that assigns probabilities to the values of a random variable. The probability distribution of a random variable is also called probability mass function. Take note that when we say discrete random variable, we are talking about experiments that can be counted. Okay? So now, what are the properties of discrete random variable? The probability P of X for a random variable must be between 0 and 1. P of X is less than or equal to 1 or greater than or equal to 0. This means that the probability must not exceed 1 or have a negative result or negative value. Take note that it should be between 0 and 1. 0 is included, 1 is also included. The sum of the probabilities of the random variables in an experiment should be equal to 1. Summation of P of X is equal to 1. So when you add all the probabilities, it should be equal to Let us take one. these examples. Find the probability distribution of the sum of the numbers that occur if a pair of dice is tossed. So when we say pair of dice, there are two dice. You have to toss them together. And then these are the possible outcomes. I have already listed all the possible outcomes. It can be 1, 1, 1, 2, and so forth, and so on and so forth until 6, 6. Let us now get the sum of each. We have 2. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then we have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Okay. What is the probability of getting a sum of 2? So, meaning we have sum of 2. What is the probability of getting a sum of 2? So, that is P of 2. So, this one is equal to... One, how many? We all have how many all in all? We have 36. So this one is 1 over 36. What about P of 3? What is the probability of getting a sum of 3? We have 1. We have 2. So we have 2 over 36. Again, we have 36 all in all. What about P of 4? So, what is the probability of getting a sum of 4? We have 1, 2, 3. So, that is 3 over 36. What about P of 5? What is the probability of getting a sum of 5? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, so we have 4 over 36. P of 6, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so that is 5 over 36. What about P of 7? P of 7, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 
five, six. So we have six over 36. We have P of eight. What about P of eight? We have probability of getting a sum of eight. One, two, three, four, five. So this is five over 36. P of nine. Probability of getting a nine. Sum of nine. We have one, two, three, four. So we have four over 36. What about P of 10? P of 10, we have one, two, three. So that is three over 36. What about P of 11? P of 11, we have one, two. So this one is two over 36. And P of 12, we have one. So that is one over 36. Let us now check whether summation of P of X is really equal to one. So we have here one over 36 plus two over 36 plus three over 36 plus four over 36. So if we'll add this, this one is three plus four plus three, that will be 10 over 36. So we are done with this. Next, we have five over 36 plus six over 36 plus five over 36 plus four over 36. So we have, again, same denominator, just copy, add the numerator. We have 10 plus 10, it's 20 over 36. So we are already done with this. And the last, we have last three. Three over 36 plus two over 36 plus one over 36. This one is three, no, this one is six over 36. So when you add them, we have 36 over 36. And that is, of course, equal to 1. Example number 2. Determine whether or not the formula below describes a probability distribution. P of x is equal to x plus 1 over 7, where x is 0, 1, 3. So the given formula is P of x is equal to x plus 1 over 7, where x is equal to 0, 1, 3. First step that you will do is to determine whether this really describes a probability distribution. How do you do that? We need to construct a two-column table here, and then the first column will be x, and the second will be p of x. The given x's are... 0, 1, 3. If we replace 0 here in x, that will be 0 plus 1. That will be 1 over 7. If we replace here 1, that will be 1 plus 1. It's 2 over 7. If we replace 3 there in x, that will be 4 over 7. Let us verify whether the sum of this is equal to 1. So this one is 7 over 7 or equal to 1. So, this one really describes a probability distribution. Now, there is a follow-up question here. If it is, find the following. So, we will be getting the probability of x is equal to 3. So, that will be, of course, 4 over 7. Number 2, probability that x is greater than or equal to 1. What are these numbers greater than or equal to 1? We have 1 and 3. The corresponding probabilities are 2 over 7 and, of course, 4 over 7. So that will be 6 over 7. Now, for the third one, we have P of X is less than or equal to 1. We have here less than or equal to 1, 0 and 1. So under this, the probability of 0 is 1 over 7, 
and the probability of 1 is 1, a 2 over 7. So the sum of this will be 3 over 7. That's it.